I need y'all to help with something. I need y'all to tell me what colorway should I go with this car? My old school, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out there. Don't mind them Crocs though. Everybody got a pair. Now remember the inside. Inside, it's like already custom. You know what I'm saying? That's a license plate up there. It ain't no real. But the inside is custom. Like custom white. And it got Pontiac on it. Which I already showed y'all in the first video, but ain't got too many followers, so. Size like custom. I got custom flow mats too. The front driver's seat one I had took out because it was like it was getting dirty and I wasn't even like I don't feel I feel like I wasn't supposed to be using them yet. Let me show y'all the uh like the actual color. Like I'm trying to figure out what kind of Color, I should get the car painted. Should I do like candy red, make the inside red, keep the inside white and brown, make the whole car brown? Like, I'm stuck. Like, do something crazy where I can have like a color of the car. Like, like man, it's like, I don't know. I've been, I've been stuck. I got a good uh, top though. Like, this right here, it look like somebody had a TV before I had it. Cause this was like a regular light. Oh yeah, let me show y'all something. This right here, my center cap. It keep coming off, but it won't come off in like mid ride. But it will come off in general. And I'm like, man, that's one thing I gotta fix. Then I got this problem too. Hold on, man, I ain't got no jack right now, so I'm gonna show y'all as much as I can. You see the leak on the ground. Now, my transmission lines are a lot longer than normal. Then I was told I had a I was told I had a rear main seal leak too. Like I said, everything else is fine. And then I think well, I got flow masses too. I don't know why I sound like I'm whispering because I'm under the ground. But that's the grill right there. I ain't never really sat there and showed the grill. That was so nice. That's the second shot of the grill. This light right here, all the way out. Like, you can't see with it, so I be having to turn my high beams on. But I do got some new lights that I was recommended, but I want y'all to tell me how it is. And all this right here in the back, that right there, up there, it's rusted. But other than that, like, the fact that this was put across it and it's a Pontiac, which I'm gonna get repainted, is like, that more like five. I can't even lie. 
Now, I, I put my radio on, like, I hook my radio up by myself on the inside, so my bezel, it ain't all the way on there. And this right here ain't down, like, it's sliding around. Like, it don't go nowhere because of the bezel and because of the things in the back, but it slides from right to right, like, left and right. My fault. And, uh, I want y'all to tell me what I can do to fix that. And then... Need my lights. I got some new lights. I just ain't got the bulbs yet. So of course, I thought the lights came with the bulbs. And I was wrong. I should have read the description better. But they black though. And they got these going across. And these going across. They got the middle piece. And I heard they had an app for them. Where I can change the colors. Like while I'm driving. Like just had it downloaded on my phone. I don't know the name of them. If y'all want them, I can find out how good they are. And once I find out how good they are, I'll leave a link in the description. But I'm going to be the test dummy for all the box Chevys. <laughs> and then when I figure out how good it is, everybody else that's building theirs who don't, know, who, who don't know, just like I don't know, then I'm going to let y'all know how good everything is. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, man, I, I, man. Like, I want all this right here digital. It's so old. Yeah, I keep gas in there. Now, okay, YouTube. This this is probably the most important thing right here. These two gauges. It's the oil pressure gauge and the temperature gauge. Okay, all right. This is the most, like, this is what I'm really scared of right now. Now, when I first got the car, like, when I first got the car fixed, and, uh, back in, like, the winter time, when he first got the car started, he put cooling and all that in it. Like, I got a lot of cooling in it. This gauge right here, what, I mean, of course it's supposed to be down here, but it's a little hot outside, so, of course, the temperature stay up, but... This gauge right here used to stop right at 190. Now that it's hot outside and I'm driving, sometimes it'll go up to that second notch above 190. It won't go up to the middle, it won't overheat or nothing like that. I don't know if that's normal. Then my oil pressure gauge will go up to 25 and idle. But when I first cut the car on, it'll go to 50 and then back to 25. And when I accelerate real hard, it'll shoot down to zero and back to 25. But at first, it used to, when I accelerate real hard, it'll go up to like right here and then back to 50. So I don't know if my pressure went down or I don't know. But y'all let me know. I need to know. This one like bad. Like, I don't. I'm going to try to get some footage like, of me driving it so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But let me know. ASAP.